Joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Well, two years after the first title, the Raptors last season missed the playoffs for the first time in eight years. Fred Van Vliet said people are overlooking us again, which is not a bad place to be in. Kevin, this front office finds diamonds in the rough, so it's only a matter of time before they're back in the mix. I agree, David. They are a quality organization. They always find a way. Thank you. And a chance now to look at the schedule coming up for the Toronto Raptors. On Friday, they'll be facing Kawhi Leonard and the Los Angeles Clippers. Then on Sunday, they'll host the New York Knicks. And that game against Noel, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Outside the wings are Curry and Green. The stars of this team in the post, Harris and Embiid. And it's Russell in at the one. And for the Raptors, Van Vliet and Ananobi are your wingmen. Inside form, it's Barnes in Siakam. And it's Krogic in at the one spot. And doors, it should be an interesting matchup in the low post. How do you see the battle of the bigs playing out here tonight? Well, boy, Kevin, this is a classic low post strength on strength contest. And more and more in the modern NBA, that's the exception, not the rule. Now, here is Russell. Scoring wise, he's definitely making his mark right now. He's averaging about 19 points a game. He gets it in there. To me, you've got to stay attached to D'Angelo Russell, especially when he's in those in between areas. I get you against Russell. Arms, left side. That's it, coming off an assist from Connick. the ball. They bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Pass to Embiid. To the paint. Here's Harris. It's the outside the right away. And that mid-range jumper. Harris's go-to shot before he developed the consistency from range. Van Vliet passes to Siakam. Back to Van Vliet. And that one is off. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Their last encounter was in Philadelphia. They needed an extra minute to get the W in that game. Set but they got it. Just you know, this was a bad their perseverance and their conditioning. To me, that was the difference in overtime. And Toronto has possession. Philadelphia get their last shot to go. Frontage. Looking for an opening. Agility, great recipe for blocking shots. It the best to do. Fred Van Vliet. Battling through the end of fair and revealing that basketball in. And the greatest reason is Seth Curry's game. Seth Curry. Others with consistency. And he's taking time with his reads, letting his defense commit, then making his move. All part of that maturation process. I think it's fair to say that Seth Curry has found his footing in this league. He gains more and more confidence every year. Now, here's Siaka. He picked up 18 points in the last one against the Cavaliers. In he was also a set up hand as well. This guy was cutting the defense to shreds with incredible passes. First All first that he gives them on offense, Siaka's ability, Greg, to switch defensively is key for this team. And he can the line for stay in the front of guards. On yeah, the front. Yeah, I mean, this guy can test shots without fouling. You love the combination of focus and strong fundamentals. Um, take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
The first one falls. One of the things that we're watching happen with Pascal Siakam is the willingness to accept more and more responsibility, both from a leadership and a productivity standpoint, guys. And it has been something else to watch that growth. Siakam hits them both. And a guy who routinely outworks people to take the team off his own. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Down low. 
It's tipped. Three on three. Here's on over. Power down. Oh, 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 Curry passes to Drummond. It's on to the key, Russell. Pass to him. Five on the clock. And it's Drummond. Good D by Siakam. And Siakam has got the ball here for Toronto. Trailing here by eight. Coming into this, having matched a win against Cleveland in their last game. Yeah, in that game, I thought they took advantage of some sloppy play, but give them credit. They turned mistakes in the point. Well, you have to capitalize when your opponent has a miscues. Give this team some credit. Every time that opponent turned it over, they capitalize. Thank you. Their play has been really solid right time off the bat. Time to call the The loudest and crazy fans get a free T-shirt. Let's see it, fans. subbed in for Goran Dragic. And then for Philadelphia, Matisse Thibels checked in for Green. Shake Milton comes in for Curry. And Maxi subbed in for Russell. And so here is Philadelphia. Six-point game. Now, here's Milton. Defense right on him. And Boucher sends it back. The 76ers again can't hit it. Toronto's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. And here we go. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance to go on. That's his and first along with personal shot. This team really thrives on Van Vliet's leadership. He sets a great example of his toughness. Toughness. His dedication. Van at the line at the two. And, and believe they're going to win partly Shooting because two. of him. And the first one at the line is good. And Greg, when it comes to load management, why do we see more of it now than when you play? Well, for me, the science of sport has evolved and, and it's not just the athlete it's the technology and the science that goes into making a better athlete that's why you're seeing load management far more acceptable to the masses now understanding that this is about the long game the way he's shooting free throws tonight you simply don't want to put him there here's Truman. it's rebounded by out and over no doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter Score. To the wing right side. Boucher kicks to Trent. Inside. Here's Hananobi. And that one drops for him. Hananobi's got seven. The 76ers lead. And here's Milton. He averages a bit 
over six points a game. From him with the screen on Boucher. Here's Harris. And that time, also a missed shot. Otto should just about an even 40% to start. The ninth foot shot. Trent can't hit. The 76 are shooting 56% in this first quarter. An outstanding start for this offense. Harris outside. Coming in the post. Good by Birch. Drummond passes to Milton. Four on the clock. Drummond trying to get himself free. A shot by Milton. No good. And it's the Raptors ball. Trailing by two. Van Fleet outside. Boucher finds Van Fleet. so far, nothing on the scoreboard yet. Fires from the line, offensive rebound, the third shot of the position finally calls for him. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Two minutes left, Trump is trying to get himself free. Another shot, Maxi, and he makes it up to Well, you love the persistence on the offensive glass, all about effort right now. Van Vliet guarded closer. That's to Trent. They set the pick. One thirty-five left in the first quarter of the game, and the shot goes down. And it's the Seven Sixers with the ball. Now here's Maxi. He averages about uh, five points a game, and it's blocked. Here's Chris, defended by Milton. Boucher, the screen. Trent with it. Harris is there. Ananobi finds Boucher. Boucher with a screen on Harris. No one's there turning the shot that would have put them on top. Now, here's Milton. Defense is right there. And it down two points. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this scene. Van Fleet up top. One point last game. And it's sent back by Drummond. Twice on the pipe, send him back on Drake Drummond. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. There's the drive. Milton. It's hauled in by the ref. That's a surprise. I mean, he's really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Here's Trent. Against Cleveland, he was really on his game. Van Vliet outside. And the call on the shot sends in the line. That's his that second one on Max. The Van Vliet is such a crafty basketball player. That size should have Raptors. to be. Nice job drawing Fred the contact. Shoot two. And the first one. Well, just for this trip to the line, I'll call him by his full name. Frederick Edmund Van Vliet Sr. Had to get that in there. Now we can just go back to Freddie V. Both good from the line that time. Tobias Harris, he's the only one that's ever played his for the for Philadelphia. For moments during that quarter, it felt like a one-man wrecking crew.
It seemed he was doing everything out there. Right back after this break. fans um, you're sleeping in your bed and you know every, everything feels better but um, still you know um, we need to be locked in from the first minute to the last and um, play the same with the intensity with energy like we did uh, so far at home you know Greg they've been pretty solid on their home floor the, the good teams do that you have to take care of business and protect your home court and close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown. For the the and guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passes. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. And James here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So on the floor for Philadelphia. With Matisse Feibel, then it's Russell, and it's Green, and it's Maxi, and at the two guard spot. The 76ers leading by three. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. Pascal Siakam was the most improved player in 2019. He says, I love that I can not be able to do something, but if I put in a lot of hard work doing it, I can become good at it. He did. He was smart. He certainly put in the work. DA, thank you. Here's Russell. After the Raptors pick up two. And Gary Trent gets the whistle that time. That is his first ball. First game ball. Right there. And really a tough break for the deep. At the line for Duncan the Robinson time. called him the ultimate leader. Dragic, leader of his national team Two for times. a decade now. God just embraces the responsibility of it all. That one falls for Dragic. And we've heard some talk, Greg, about the possibility of NBA expansion. What do you think about that? Kevin, I think it would be great for the league. I mean, I played in Seattle for a season, and I know they would love to have a team back in the great Northwest. Curry's checked in for Maxi. And Gordon Dragic drops them both. And Dragic came into the NBA with something on his resume that not many other rookies have. He has a ring from winning the Slovenian Pro League the year before he came to America. It's blocked. Now, here's Trent, guarded by Kirk. And the pass to Dragic. Over Thibel. And the Raptors miss again. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Pass it to Thibel. Outside Kirk. Philadelphia moving the ball over. Here's MP. They get a hand on it. Two on the trail. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Dragic with it, and Curry picks him up defensively. Siaka deciding where to go with it. And he gets the bucket. Siaka have gone to the four shot the ball here in the center. And beat the screen right. And the foul called in. 
shooter for a seven footer so you just can't hack away at it. And good on the second so he makes them both. Boy a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Green against Barnes. Green with the ball. Danny Green gets a ton of blocks. Great use of his length. The 76ers lead. Outside curve. He kicks it to MB. Pass to Russell. Beyond the arc. That one is good. He's only missed one shot. He's six taken on the floor. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. With it. No points in the game yet for him. And it's Trent in the corner. They set the pick. Lock at six. Over Embiid. And an ejection by Embiid. Barnes can't get it to go. Going off the lead by four. Back to the right hand. Russell against Dragic. Russell comes in from Embiid. It's stolen by Dragic. Takes it in. A shot. No good. Nice deep from Russell. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this one back. Cody on the wing. Defended by Trent. Six on the shot clock. Curry can't get it to go. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. Here's Barnes. That's him coming off an assist from Kronich. Kronich has got his third assist on the night. Well, that's the vision that you get with Kronich. His teammates have to love playing with him. Now, here's Curry. He had 10 points in the win. Andrew Richards in Washington. Line for the really slowed down the player on the floor. More than you think, the last handful of years, Russell has changed teams and coaches several times, and yet he has still continued to be a factor on the floor. He throw good, Russell. And Russell, a player known for his offense, but Greg, he's put in work to improve his play on defense as well. Yeah, you know, Russell was known for his lack of defense there for a while. But he's been trying to improve that part of his game. It's a long road, but I tell you what, he is definitely taking steps. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Trent kicks to a chewer. That's the drivage. No good that time. Now the 76ers take it the other way. They've led by as much as 10. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To start the way they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. Now here's Brogic after the Angelo Russell's miss. On the wing, Bart. And B with the steal. Last break, Philadelphia. Russell's winning. Oh, 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 
fades. Good for another bucket. Yeah, He's made yeah, yeah. Yeah. now for six for eight on the night. The shots are just flowing with yeah. him right now. Having a really strong quarter. Got you up by the bucket. And it's Trent in the corner. There's the pit. Barnes with it. Trent defending. Just finally the ball. Here's Trent. With it. He brings it up with a 76 er Six point lead. Here's Barnes. And it's Barnes. More than capable of running. He knows how to get his teammates involved. Who wants a t-shirt? Make some noise. Ladies and gentlemen, your North Side Cruise. Fred Van Vliet in for Goran Dragic. And then for Philadelphia, Drummond's checked in for Matisse Thybul. Tobias Harris comes in for Green. And it's Jake Milton in for Curry. Philadelphia leading by four. Outside, Russell. He dishes it to Harris. Good on the three-point shot. Harris has got 12. When Russell gets his teammates involved, it makes this entire team better, and it'll make him more effective at the point position. And then, wait, here we go. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Nice deal from Russell. Now, here's Milton. He's tightly guarded. Here's Trail by seven. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Now here's Van Vliet, defended by Milton. Van Vliet looking around. Just four to shoot. And it's set back by Truman. Russell against Van Vliet. And Harris gets it to go on the assist by Russell. Russell's got three assists in the game. Now, here's Trent, defended by Milton. And Floyd against Russell. Boucher with a screen on Russell. He ends and Floyd. And the bucket is good. Well, don't let the dominions of side. Is a strong finisher. He loves to score. And Doris Rose is in the press for his scoring, and he's been prolific. Van Vliet's defense is equally as At the line for your Great instinct. Rarely fooled. You can't trick him with feet. Strength in the post. What's up? If you guys try to take advantage of his lack of size, he won't have it. Throw good, Van Vliet. 
they hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. The pass to Drummond. Now here's MB. Covered by Birch. Feeds away. Almost, but it rolls out. Normally he'll drill that shot. I'm not sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Well, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Now here's Van Vliet. 11 points in the game. Into the lane. Well, you just Seven to the first down. Sacrifice his body for that nice try. Right into it. Wow. Third third shooting free throws tonight going down. At the line for your Raptors. Fred Van Vliet. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Siakam is checked in for the Raptors. And so Van Vliet nails both of them. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. They've led by as much as 10. Passes it to Drummond. Milton in the corner. 76ers moving the ball around. And Drummond kicks to Milton. Just five to shoot. The 76ers need to get off a shot. And it's Russell missing. There's two of them four. And three outside. Siakam outside. It's Drummond with the rebound. Well, that's just inconsistency with him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. Also passes to Drummond. He feeds it to MB. Over Boucher. MB, no good. After shooting a duel of 28% in the second quarter. Ananobi picks to Van Vliet. Now, here's Trent. He's guarded closer. Pass to Van Vliet. Boucher sets a screen for Van Vliet. A shot missing. Philadelphia leading by four. And so far, Harris is having his way on offense. The defense just has not found an answer for his energy That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Some changes for Philadelphia. Matisse Thibel checked in for Joel Embiid and makes he subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. To the right side. And so it's 
Thanks very much here with Nick Nurse. Coach, the efficiency wasn't there in the first half. What adjustments do you need to make? I thought we got pretty good shots, you know, and if we're not going to score, it makes getting our defense set up difficult. So, you got to keep shooting them. Hopefully, stop making some of them. Uh, you can't score until you shoot, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Hey there, everyone. This game has been a real showcase for Tobias Harris so far. You could call it a vintage Shaq performance. Definitely wouldn't call it a kidding performance. A kid he's never had it before. Anyway, he's pouring in the points. He's been on fire. Quite a game already. Let's see if he stays hungry in the second half. Let's turn our attention to the dunk contest and see who's competing for a spot this year. And I love this event. I'm good to start talking dunk contest, Ernie Kenny, since I'm the most powerful dunker in the world. You know, we've got some early contenders to make the field. I like the look of this group. The high flyers, some of the most creative finishers in the league. And I'll bet these guys are already working on some of these crazy jams they come up with. That'll be our show. On to the third quarter we go. Uh, Ernie with the flow, making those rhymes as he throws, sounding like a pro. Oh, you didn't know? You must have been slow. I didn't mean to rhyme, not like Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, oh drop Ernie. the mic! Drop nah. the mic! We quit, we quit. Broadcast is over. <laughs> Here is pitch for Russell. Drummond with a straight. 
Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Achua, he's checked in for Pascal Siakam. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Embiid, he's checked in for Drummond. Good for Curry. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Dragic, the best to Barnes. Back to Dragic. Curry with the steal. Outside, Russell. Pass to Harris. Philadelphia moving the ball around. To the inside. his fifth personal foul. First team foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. At the and line, this four point on the season, guys, 80% from the line. He's done a really good job. Two shots. First free throw is good. Well, the more opportunity that has been given to OG and Anobi, the more this young man shines. He is a multi-dimensional talent. Gives you great defense nightly and growing on the offensive end. And Philadelphia making a change here. Drummond's checked in. The free throw is good from Anobi. Just over three and a half minutes into the third quarter of play now. Popped up there for Trumbull. And it's a shot hit the jam. Boy, watching Andre Trumbull is a little like going back to 90s NBA basketball. Highly skilled, traditional big. If you look at the leaders in rebounding, it's almost a sure thing that Drummond's name is going to be at the top of that. 750 bucks. Making a change here. Birch is checked in. And the 76ers with possession. They're on a 13 to 4 run right now. And here is Drummond. He's got 10. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and to the free throw line. That's his second. And great when it comes to players who led the league in rebounding. Very few have done it as many sisters. times as Drummond. And the guys Russell that have done it more than twice, shots. like Andre, I've got some good news for you. Shooting two. Every one of them is either in the Hall of Fame or soon will be. We throw good, Russell. And to me, the ceiling that D'Angelo Russell has is really high. This guy is dynamic. He's confident. He can score it, and he's just going to continue to want to prove himself. And so Russell hits them both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Barnes outside. And that 
Harris. 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 And he can't get the first one. Axie's checked in for D'Angelo Russell. And he can't hit the second. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Yeah, it's no good. And it's with the ball for Toronto. 19-point game. A pass to Birch. Outside Trogic. Back to Birch. And he is flushed down with a nice jam. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Passes it to Harris. Good ball movement here by the 76. Here's Drummond. And it's blocked. Outside Drogic. And Blade on the wing. Banked in off the glass. Van Vliet's got 15. Now you see the wherewithal of Fred Van Vliet. Finds the soft spot on the defense and converts. Pass to Harris. Nice to the hoop. And so it looks like the 76 is going to retain the possession. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. And the 76ers also making a change. Milton's checked in. The inbound, and that one's good. Boy, you love to see this level of awareness from a big like Drummond. How about that feed to his teammate? Now, here's Trent, defended by Milton. Pass to Dragic. They set the pin. Six to shoot. And that one is the first one. Don't normally see Rockets inside, but credit to the Slovenian for that shine away from the trees. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the 76ers. They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. Now, the other thing they've done tonight is work the ball into the paint. Plenty of their points coming from close range. That one falls for Dragic. Matisse Theibel checked in for the 76ers. And he makes the first, but misses the second. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Drummond up top. And that will be two for the top. Of officials on the top. That's his second first defense. You can feel the defense presence all over the floor. Shooting for a thing that's good. Andre Jones. At the line for two. He is nearly unmatched in terms of his rebounding ability. This guy is a multi-time league leader two. in that stat. 
He works so hard to secure possessions for his team. Boy, one thing you can say about Andre Drummond, he is so steady. Statistically, it's the same story every year. Chris Boucher is checked in for Toronto. Good on both. Raptors trail by 18. Kicks it to Dragic. Driving the lane. Maxi grabs the miss. The 76ers have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. To the middle. Here's Truman. Boucher with the rebound. Boucher's got rebound number five here tonight. Barnes looking around. the pass to Achua. It's stolen by Harris. Now, here's Milton. He's guarded by Trotch. Now, here's Maxi. Six on the shot clock. That's short off the rim. Here's Trent. Dragic to the elbow. Over in the corner, Barnes. And Fable sends it back. Now, here's Trent. Not a lot of room. You know what? They battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. Now, here's Maxi. Defended by Trent. Bible, the pass to Harris. Corin Dragic grabs the board. And it's Dragic with the ball for Toronto. They trail by 18. And there's the ball on the team's table. That's his first stop. And the 76ers make a change. And Bede's checked in. Coming on the floor for the 76ers. Joel Embiid. Drummond working against Boucher. Down low, tipped away. Milton with it. Pass to Maxi. If I can get to the offensive window, I can put points on the board. So, timeout call here, the first for Toronto. Well, Greg, for those of us who have never played in the league, what's it like traveling all over the country over the course of a long regular season? Come on, Kevin. I bet you had a nice day back in the day. But seriously, it's a whirlwind tour, man. Sometimes you don't even know what city you wake up in. And I can tell you, there have been many times where I've gone back to the podcast.
Christian Virtua. Let's take a look at the numbers for Tobias Harris. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. for him. Boucher sets a screen for Siakam. Come outside. Oh. Two free throws. Oh, the the That's the second oh, first free throw. Over the last ten games, the Milwaukee's that have been head and shoulders above the rest. We well, take a look at Mark, one of the game's best, second in the league. Now, he's been yeah. playing some very determined basketball here lately. It's showing in those rebounding numbers. One falls for him. The Raptors making a switch here. Ananobi's checked in. Danny Green, he's checked in for the 76ers. Siakam <laughs> hits him both. Leading by 16. Now here's Milton. Fades and shoots. A nice shot to by Embiid. Embiid. Embiid's got eight. And this is what makes him be so dangerous. That he makes stretching the floor look effortless. Rockets left side. There's the pass to Boucher. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Back to Trent. Four on the shot clock. Screen by Siakam. And again, no good by Toronto. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it. And it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Now here's MB. Eight points for him. Green misses to Embiid, and there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two, and the foul goes against Toronto. And who draws more fouls than Embiid? Very few players, if any. Too much size and, and really too much skill to defend. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots in the game right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Missing. And that one misses. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Toronto. up missing both free throws. Raptors trail by 18. On an OB passes to Trent. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. OG, what you see is with the assist. Improvement in his ability to create 
create for others. Great to see OG Ananobi make the open read. Now here's MB. Passes it to Drummond. A fader. That Joel one is good MB. from Joel Embiid. Assist from Embiid's got Point 10 points. Down. Slow rotation there defensively, and he gets a wide open look from mid range. And I'll tell you, you look up at the scoreboard, that's correct. So they have a good lead for a good lead. Well, get it inside to a quality score and let this guy do his thing. Maxi passes to Embiid. Milton with it. And here's the drive. The shot's good. So he got his second bucket. And for a big man, MB sees the floor as well as any big. Recognizes when one of his guys has an opening for a shot. Now, here's Trent. And it's shot by Truman. Now, here's Green. He's guarded closely. And here's Maxi. Pass to MB. Over Boucher, again, Philadelphia. Coming off a big game, his confidence. That's the end of the third quarter. It's a four. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, he's riding it. And so it's Philadelphia. Closing out the quarter with a 20-point lead. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. game to become competitive. And it's Van Cleek with the ball for the Raptors. And so in the game for the 76ers, the stars of this team in the post, Harris and MB. Outside the wings of Curry And it's Russell in at the point guard position. The 76ers leading by 20. They kick it out to Green. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Green's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the 76ers. Here's Trent. And back in the day, Gray, Allen Iverson got criticized for devaluing Trent. Now, we've got healthy players sitting out a game. Has load management gone too far, you think? Not a practice, but a game. We got guys missing games, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. But I, honestly, I'm really all for load management in this regard. If I own a team and I have to invest $200 million in a player, I want to do everything I can to prolong my investment. And the reality is we well, got our stars playing at unprecedented lifts at higher levels later in their career. So I'm all for doing what we can to prolong the careers of our very best players. Siakam after the big shot from Joel Embiid. Bucket six. And five. So we're going to and so he's picked up his final four and the 76ers with a complete the line from Roy Raptors passed out Seattle taking two shots two shots Throw good, Siakam. Siakam hits them both. You know, Doris, we see a lot of retired NBA players getting into ownership. Now there is some talk of current players getting some equity in teams. Do you see that happening? You know, I'm not sure, to be honest with you, Kevin. What I love is retired players getting involved, whether it's Grant Hill, now Dwayne Wade, Shaquille O'Neal. They want to be in positions of ownership, and I think it's absolutely brilliant. But I do think I'd rather see current players just lock in their careers than get involved in investing in current teams. Curry. 
Murray looking it over. Top of the key, Russell lets it go from deep. Flynn grabs the miss. Dang, close to making the defense pay. Out of bounds. Relax coverage. Philadelphia ball. Out of bounds. Only 76 yards. Substitution for your Raptors. Scotty Barnes. Fred Van Fleet. Jordan Dragic. Philadelphia's gone one and two from three point range here in the fourth. Russell against Siakam. Here's Harris. Rebound by the Raptors. Cook just got his fifth rebound in this one. And Van Vliet, here we go. Plays it up off the glass. Van Vliet's got 19 points. Well, if you think about Fred Van Vliet's handle and his ability to operate at different speeds, you understand how effective he can be on the drive. Now here's Curry. Good D by Siakam. Lots of case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. Van Vliet kicks to Birch. Greg, last season, we saw a lot of opinions about the play-in tournament, especially from players. Where did you fall on that thing? Well, I'm going to go on my fan right now, and I thought it was exciting. I mean, seeing the stakes get raised for those teams that are right on the edge, I think it brings more interest for teams. But if I was still playing, I probably wouldn't like it if I had locked up the playoffs and still had to go play to earn a bird. And the Raptors with the ball. 76ers getting the bucket. Pass to Birch. Back to Dragic. Looking to get it going. He shoots it by Harris. And using his long arms there to his advantage. Opponents got to be mindful of Harris's defensive capabilities. Well, you can see his struggles from the field, and I think it's really starting to get to him. And it's Green missing. And it's Barnes with the ball for Toronto. The pass to Siakam. Passes it to Dragic. Dragic with another miss. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. Green finds Russell. Now here is Harris, covered by Birch. Back to Russell. Crafty move. A shot that time, not on target. Rockets with some nice D. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Van Fleet passes to Siakam. Russell against Van Fleet. Siakam kicks the ball. And stolen by Drummond. Green deciding where to go with it. To the inside, Harris. Out to Russell. And they double up Russell. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley -oop. Here's Birch. And that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. Dragic has got six assists here tonight. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Now, here is Russell. To the paint. Here's Trumman. Here's Harris. And dunk by Harris. Assist the last finish. Andre by Harris, he sees his opening and does not hesitate to rise up and be free. Toronto calls timeout. And along with terrific production, Harris is an interesting team leader. Very positive in his approach. Ladies and gentlemen, your North Side Queen.
players opting for the G League over college not Greg. What's your advice to top young players on their path to the NBA? And well, Kevin, I think you just answered it. It's their path. And I, and I don't think the same path is right Set for everybody. There are going to be a lot of Three talented points. young men and women who want to go to college for the experience, you know, for the environment, uh, for the networking, right? You're going to make some of the best friends you'll ever have. In, on a college campus. Having said that, though, some kids aren't in the college, aren't in the school. They want to just go and pursue their passion and their, their craft. And that's why I think the G League and the developmental leagues that are out there are so good for these young players. Now, Russell, following the miss by Fred Van Vliet from deep. Russell with it. Picked up by Van Vliet. Stolen by Van Vliet. And they push in right away with the push -up. Van Vliet's got four points this quarter. Well, when you see somebody making pull-up jump shots like Van Vliet does there, you know that the rhythm is there. Drummond dishes to Curry. Here he goes. Shoots over Van Vliet. That's Curry. That time on the assist by Drummond. How many times have we seen a possession take that from them today? Ending with the basket coming off a pretty pass. Here's Van Vliet, and that one hits back iron. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. And they recover it. Harris inside, covered by Barnes. Good! Harris has got 22. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Dragic. The shot, no good. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. It's to Curry. Russell high post. Shoots over Van Fleet. Russell, no good. Toronto's gone ice cold from three point land. All four since the start of the final quarter. And the rejection by Curry. How about the effort? Yeah. Seven Seven Curry. Curry. He's blocking shots. Tobias Harris. Wow, what a lift for his guys. That's his third personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Toronto. Fred Van Vliet. At the line for two. The first one at the line is good. And Greg, you were a hard-nosed defender. Would you be frustrated by what they're calling a foul today? You know, I, I would based on how I played. But if you grew up in this era, this is just the way the game is. And you have to adapt and adjust. And that's what you're seeing with the players. Guys can defend it every bit as good as they ever had. In fact, I would argue they're better 
defensively today because they're not allowed to grab and hold. So the league is focused on offense. The fans seem to love it. But at the end of the day, you still got to get after it defensively. I'm in his double. Milton with it. Pass to Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. Drummond, a screen from deep three-point range. And they'll get another chance. Back to Milton. Right wing. Drummond finds Thibel. Shoots over Ananobi. Thibel can't get it to go. Right side, Dragic. The shot by Birch, no good. Philadelphia's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Now, here's Maxi. Harris looking it over. Maxi passes to Fiber. Shoots over Ananobi. Drummond with the jam. Boy, the defense has no answer for Andre Drummond. That's He's covered closely. 143 left in the fourth quarter of this one. That one goes in. Dragic's footwork really shines. His ability to make quick moves around the defense gets him to the rim. Now, here's Maxi. Harris passes to Maxi. Harris outside. Inside. Toronto grabs the miss. Akua's got five rebounds tonight. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's oh, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the 76ers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And guys, at this point, the long NBA season is over down as win number 25. And continued dominance against this team, winning both of their matchups this season. A very solid win indeed, and when you check out the box, there were some great numbers for Andre Drummond. Well, I thought his best work was his pursuit of the basketball. He competed for every rebound, fought for position in the paint, and never stopped working. I love it. Now here's Drummond, following the miss by Fred Van Vliet. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Drummond is double on the pass to Maxi. Takes it inside. Comes up empty down low. Ananobi finds a chewer. Here's Brogic from outside. It's hauled in by Thibel. And here's Maxi. So it's the 76ers winning this one easy. A resounding victory for them. And bringing in enemy territory no one. That's exactly right. The way they control the game and just completely wow out of That's how to get it done on the road. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Hey, thank you, Kevin. Joel, congrats on the win. A quality win. How did you secure it? Oh, we played. We were tough tonight. We won soft. Uh, we shared the ball defensive, and we were really good. And that's what we got to do the rest of the season. Well, you're building towards something good, man. Congratulations on the win. Kevin? All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, Andre Drummond.